I'm in Dynamics 365 here. Let's create a deduction write-off reason code. So if I come down to sales and marketing, what I'll see is over in deductions here, I'll see deduction write-off reasons. So if I open that up, um, I don't have any in this example, but let's say for example, we create one called trade and trade um, deduction for example then we can use this when um, we create a we have a deduction that we want to write off and so the main purpose is really to specify the GL account so I can specify a minimum amount or maximum account and say that again maximum amount that you're allowed to write off with this code but basically what we're specifying is the GL account so I'm going to type in the GL account that I created which in this case is just an expense account so we're going to write off to a um, an expense account so I'm going to save this and that's pretty much all it is to set it up it's really just the GL account now if we go into the deductions workbench for example where it comes into effect you'll see here for example I've got a deduction um, if I go up to the maintain I can do a write-off and when I do a write-off it's going to ask for the reason code and this is where I'm going to see the reason code and apply it for the write-off so that's a quick look at creating a deduction write-off reason code really the main aim is to specify the GL account and classify with the code which account the write-off is going